Good morning. Not to knock you. It is May 29th, 2022, and life has just been way too crazy. I, uh, I'm stressed. I'm just, I'm stressed. I'll get into all that later, but um, I am starting on my new business venture. I'm not going to reveal the name of it yet or like the full concept, but it is jewelry based. I've been ordering from now two different jewelry suppliers, looking through countless, I mean so many, uh, but I've officially ordered from two. And something that I'm seriously struggling with, I've, I've educated myself on, um, you know, different materials and what I want to go with, blah, blah, blah. To summarize, the jewelry that I'm opting to sell is going to be 24 karat gold filled. And so I'll get into the differences of plated, vermeil, filled, and solid at another time. But... Just know that the jewelry so far is, actually there's some 18 karat gold filled and then also 24 karat gold filled. The problem that I'm experiencing is that the pieces will be different tones almost, right? So the one that I have on right now, this piece, these two pieces are 24 karat gold filled, all right? Let me show you what else is 24 karat gold filled. These earrings. These earrings. I don't know if you are going to be able to tell, but can you see that one, this one, these two are way more yellowy than these? This is almost like a lighter, cooler tone, toned gold than this. This is like borderline orange and so i've been researching okay well maybe it's the base metal that has a difference right so i'll go over the differences later but gold filled essentially just means that you have a base metal it can be brass copper i think silver is the other really common one and then gold is melted on top of it and then of course you know the carrots vary based on how pure the gold that's melted on top is and so but by law gold filled has to be five percent gold by weight so both of these are five percent gold by weight but one is significantly lighter than the other and i thought maybe it was because of the base material but then the base materials are the same the base metals i mean and so i just don't know why the shades are differing i've reached out to suppliers and um they're just lagging getting back to me. So what I'm leaning towards doing is having a two, two separate gold categories on the website. One that's lighter, cooler gold tones, and then another that's, you know, warmer yellow gold. Because I think it makes a huge difference. It looks different on different skin tones. Personally, I think the lighter gold looks better on me. Exhibit... Exhibit A. Here's another piece. You can already see the differences. You see the color difference? I mean, this one's almost silver, but I guess a lot of people prefer a more true gold. I like a more true gold in the summer, but I do like the option of having this lighter gold. So I guess that's what I'm going to do is maybe make two separate categories on the site. Regardless, I need to start doing some serious testing. So I've been wearing these. At one point I was wearing this one around my neck and not taking it off. But I think a good, a better test of durability and whether they're going to be, you know, seriously waterproof is putting a few pieces in this little thing of water and then just letting them sit there and see what happens. Do they wear off over time? You know, after a few days, kind of give them a rub test. And things like that so I think I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna take one of these off I'll do the rope and then put that in the water and then I'm gonna take this Cuban the lighter gold and put that in the water 
and just let them sit for a while. I'm gonna continue to wear this one, which is like a mini Cuban. But yeah, so that's the progress of the jewelry business. Just figuring out what supplier I'm gonna use because at first I was looking for a supplier who was gonna have consistency in the jewelry. The first supplier that I ordered from, some were darker gold like this and some were a lighter gold. And so uh, I tried to figure out what it was that was making a difference. The supplier said that, you know, even the, the darker gold pieces sometimes will come back lighter gold. So it was just a matter of batch production variability. And I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I think that there's another factor. There has to be. Like, how are you going to, I don't know. And I want consistency, right? So I went to another supplier thinking maybe it's the carrots. So like I said, that piece was 18. The first supplier that I ordered from, I ordered 18 carat gold filled pieces. And there was just so much variability in the tones of the different pieces. So the next supplier, I ordered all 24 karat gold filled and there was still some variability. So I don't really know what to do. I can't like test every piece on their website to find, you know, consistency. So I'm, I'm thinking, and then I also know that there's a lot of people who prefer lighter and some who prefer darker tones of gold anyway. I'll keep you posted on how those do in the water. That's all for now. Hi, so I just got back from a run and showered and me and Diego are probably gonna go to the library right now to just do some work, change of environment. And something that I'm gonna be doing there is prepping for an interview that I have tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'm pretty nervous because I haven't done an in-person interview in a while. Uh, specifically since September of 2021, obviously. The predicament that I'm in is that the job that I'm going to be applying for is in Woodland. If you're familiar with the Davis area, Woodland is probably like 10, 15 minutes away, probably closer to 15, away from Davis, which isn't too bad of a commute. There's not really, you can take back roads to get there, so you're not hitting the freeway as much which is where you know traffic gets really bad during rush hour and things like that so that's not really the problem the problem is that i am finishing school in two weeks this coming week so starting tomorrow i guess weeks start on sunday so starting today <laughs> uh, i have one week of regular classes left and then finals now my lease doesn't end in davis until of August so technically I could be here for a few months to work during the summer it would be a great summer job however I still I ha okay there's two however's however number one I have a vacation in July planned I'm supposed to go I already have my tickets and everything with Diego and John we're gonna go visit both of our families a uh, little back little context Diego and I have family relatively close to each other in the northern part of Spain, the Basque region. And so it's our first time visiting family in a really long time because of COVID. And so we're both going back to visit family and you know meet each other's family. It's going to be crazy. And we already have our tickets. I'm going for two weeks. He's going for three weeks. Uh, but still, that's two entire weeks that I'll be missing of this already short amount of time that I can work for a business. So I feel kind of bad about that, you know, kind of like dipping after such a short amount of time, asking for two weeks of vacation in such a short amount of time. And it would likely be more than two weeks that I'd be asking a vacation time because, uh, you know, I want to go to San Diego first. Our flight leaves from San Diego anyway. Um, but you know, my mom and stuff wants to do a graduation party with the friends and family that we have in San Diego. It's just, it's going to be kind of difficult. I'm going to feel really bad taking that much time off. Uh, I can tell them ahead of time, you know, I'm going to need these days off, but I'm conflicted because on the one hand, that would be honest and relieve a lot of stress ahead of time, knowing that they're okay with it. 
but there's also the chance that they're like no nah, we're not okay with it and don't hire me because of that and then i'll be like oh, i should have just dealt with it when i got there but that would be a lot more stress so i'm thinking i should just be honest with them from the get the other thing is about where i'm going to be living next year so even though our lease doesn't end until end of august here my dad actually knows someone in vegas who a friend of his whose uncle is renting out a one bedroom apartment in vegas for a really good price a better price for a one bedroom than i've been seeing in my you know apartment hunts and things like that and it would be with you know somebody that we know indirectly right uh, a landlord that i is probably more and more trustworthy than one that i have zero connection to the problem with this place is that the guy wants to start renting it out in june it's may end of may so next month and even though i graduate next month like i said i have the lease here until end of august so i'd be paying double rent for a few months let's see june july three months a few months <laughs> Should I just try to look for work to start after my trip to Europe in Vegas? You know what I mean? And then just move over there and deal with having to pay this rent, the double rent. I will still be saving, even though there'll be three months of overlap rent, I'll still be saving on rent in the long run. And I'm thinking it, maybe I can negotiate with the guy and have him start renting to me early July. So we just cut at least one month. I only have to do two months of overlap. There's a few things in here that are just kind of making me stress out a little bit, you know, like do I, is it even worth getting a job up here if, you know, I'm gonna be moving to Vegas so soon and I have these vacations planned already. Uh, but at the same time, I need the job. If I get it, like I should be willing to take any job for any amount of time to be able to pay the double rent for those three months. And so I'm applying to jobs here in Davis, but I've also been applying to jobs in Vegas because I think with a longer term job, I can just ask to start later and go directly to Vegas and do it like that. I know that was a lot, but now you know where my head is at and what kind of stress I'm dealing with lately. There's also just the stress of classes coming to an end. You know, I'm in some pretty hard classes this quarter that I'm just worried about. My allergy test is the week after I graduate, but I'm like starting to break out again and like the bumps and like the rash is starting to come back, but I can't be on oral steroids because I have a patch test scheduled, like I said, for the week after finals after i graduate uh and you're supposed to be off of oral steroids for four weeks before you can do the patch test or else the results you know don't come back clear uh because you're essentially mitigating the reaction that they need to see in response to the chemicals that they put on you for the patch test so you can only use local steroids and those just have not been working as effectively for me and yeah, I think it's just stress bringing them back. I mean, obviously I haven't ruled out whatever was giving me the reaction in the first place, but I think stress is just making it, you know, worse. <laughs> so dealing with the fact that cheeky sales are kind of slow right now. So I'm having to like cut back on my expenses for cheeky, but it's hard because cutting back on expenses means less orders from like marketing efforts, for example, if you cut back on spending, you're gonna see less orders. And if you see less orders and you're seeing even less income. On a brighter note for Chiyi, I have been accepted to participate in my first market ever. So by market, I mean, it's almost like a farmer's market, except it's not really based around fresh produce. It's like a maker's market. So, um, any small business essentially can pull up and participate in the market. But some of the starting fees for a market can get kind of expensive. Like this is my first market, so I have to 
buy a canopy since it's outdoors. You need to get a banner. And then there's the fees for participating in the market, uh, which for this one were $150. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up really quick. And um, so I'm just dealing with the startup costs for the markets, but I'm excited because I've heard that returns on markets are really good. Uh, people like buying things in person, you know, and people who are going to markets like this are typically are intending to buy things, right? To support small businesses. And so I'm excited for that. Yeah, so I'm actually going to have like two back-to-back -back markets. I applied for one, and then the other one I got reached out to participate in. It's a pride market, uh, and it's happening the weekend after the first one. So in order of things that have to be handled, I have an interview tomorrow, my last week of classes this week, finals the week after, my mom and dad are coming up for my graduation that weekend, then they leave and I have a patch test, which is like a three day span that next week. That weekend I have a market and the weekend after I have another market. And the weekend after, I think is the first weekend of July, we'll be flying back because the weekend after that, we'll be going to Spain. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot going on. Um, and we're just trying to take it day by day. <laughs> Anyway, okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna go to the library. On our way. It's such a nice day out. Pretty bummed because I wanted to get some boba, but Loria hates me, so. Okay, first of all, okay, first of all. I just made us a fatty lunch. Okay, but we're gonna be at the, A delicious lunch. We're gonna be at the library. We can and I'm huh? so full right now. I told you, you could have got iced tea without boba. Boba's so filling. How are you gonna have Thai iced tea without boba? Like, something just doesn't add up about that equation. Uh, and I was like, we can get Dutch Bros. It's probably better that we're not getting either because we need to be on a budget. But Dutch Bros would have hit right now. I'm on that, like, siesta time hour right now. So would a boba. That hall, or that building, is Olsen Hall. Oh yeah, there's a sign right there. And um, it literally feels like prison inside. Like, UC Davis, get your shit together. Do you see a single window on the outside? No, that's because there are none. And there's rooms that go, like, underground. Just horrible. <laughs> uh, not to shit on the campus, though. It is really nice and huge. That's the quad over there. Pumpkin seeds in my backpack, so he's gonna give him one. I wanna give him one. Hey. Mine. Aww. We made it. I'm surprised there's not more people in here. Go to the left. Left. Yeah. Um, we can go like past. Do you want to go? Got a good amount of work done. Got to leave. Okay, my mom is seriously the best. Um, I got her this shipped, which I guess is like a Target. I think it includes other grocery stores, but she mostly uses it for Target delivery. So you place an order and then they'll deliver it to you for free. I mean, you pay for it, but for free. But I swear it's like the gift that gives to others as well. Like it gives back because she always sends us stuff. Um, using the Target delivery. So, definitely about to have one right now. Do y'all like these? I feel like people have a love-hate with them. Personally, I'm a fan. 
You know that TikTok sound that's like, um, I don't know about you, that's you, but me, I'm gonna turn up. That's yeah. you with these. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we are making some dinner. We're gonna try something crazy right now, so. Look at this salad. I swear I don't eat salads when it's cold, but salads when it's hot, they just hit. They just really be hitting. But what we're gonna make today that we've never made, either one of us, is... I made it. Corn on the... You've made corn on the cob? No, my grandma used to make it all the time. Your grandma? No, eat that. But did you? <laughs> the craziest thing we're gonna try making is... Drum roll, please. Hot Cheeto mac and cheese. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys tried this? Is it gonna make my stomach literally hate me? <laughs> I think they don't think made anything else other than tea. Yeah, they make soup. Okay. So let's make this and try it. Oh my god, it's so red. Okay, the moment of truth is here. Look at how red that is. Look at how red that is. I'm scared. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it. I'm so nervous. That's. Will it taste like an actual hot Cheeto? Whoa. It has kind of like the spiciness of a hot Cheeto, but it's almost like buttery at the same time. It's kind of good. It's like hot Cheetos and butter. Which sounds disgusting, but in pasta form, it's almost, it's more acceptable. It's like almost expected. I'm not mad at it. I think I'm gonna finish this with Diego for sure. Like good. what though? It's low key good. Anyway. Let me go put some salad in my stomach to balance things out. Morning. It is Monday, May 30th. Are there 31 days in May? I don't yeah. even know. Yeah. yeah? Oh, lit. Uh, so it's May 30th. I have... I'm dressed for an interview. Like I said yesterday, I have an interview today at one. So I'm just prepping for that. But this morning has been really productive. Took the day off from working out because I've worked out every day this week so far. So I think it was time for a break. But this morning we were super productive. We cleaned our bed sheets and are in the process of being cleaned, but we cleaned the entire room, which is, you know, always feels good after you do that and I designed and ordered a banner for the markets that I'm going to be attending first one that I'm going to is the head west market in Alameda and the second one is in Sacramento I already have a table the table that I use in the shed I'm going to take to the market but I need to buy a canopy and I need to buy I needed to buy a banner but I'm also getting little I'll just show you. I'm gonna get these acrylic sign holders to put, you know, some important information um, on paper in them. In those acrylic sign holders uh, is this. We accept card, cash, and Venmo. Uh, oh, I should probably not 
I mean, I guess you can Venmo me. <laughs> and then uh, I also signed up for Square when we were in the library yesterday, which they're going to send me this little thing that you put into your phone that can uh, swipe a credit card through. So I got that payment set up, so I'll be able to accept all these credit cards. And then I'm also going to bring like a fanny pack uh, just with some change in it. Uh, I don't know if people typically pay it with cash, but I'll be prepared for that and then i made this little one that's going to go in the si another sign holder that has the qr code for the instagram and then also uh one for the website i've been debating how i'm gonna you know bring my stuff to market uh because i think having everybody be able to build their own boxes on the spot is going to be kind of chaotic so i don't know if i've talked about this before but what i'm going to do is just curate probably like four different types of boxes and have multiples of those and then you know the customer picks out their box and then they pick out which sticker they want to go inside so you'll only really be able to customize the sticker on the back but if people want to completely customize a box I'll have the option for them to buy a gift card uh, and then you know be able to check out the website with this QR code and then in the third acrylic sign i'm still debating if i'm going to bring a small box and a regular box size i feel like the regular box the price may be intimidating at first so it might be good to have a small box but uh i don't know i don't know how much table space i need to like lay out everything on the table and see how realistic having both uh will be and then uh, I ordered tote bags. I designed and ordered tote bags last week. I'm hoping that my banner and tote bags arrive on time. They're scheduled to, uh, but I know that there's a lot of shipping delays for a lot of different reasons. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that they arrive. So I'm pricing them at $8, but they can be $6 if you also buy a box. And then I'm just gonna have, actually I'm gonna have $40 gift cards. I yeah, $40 because, uh, should I do 20? Hmm. Maybe I should do 20? Hmm. Maybe I'll do 20 and $40 gift cards. I'll have both options. Uh, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to have those gift card options be just because right now the format of the gift cards is an electronic gift card uh, but obviously I need to have something tangible at my booth so I'm gonna look into how I can do that Ooh, the banner should I show you what it looks like so the banner and the tote bags I ordered off of Vista print just because they had really good coupon codes online. I've used them before for the little cardstock inserts in the boxes. Uh, so kind of tried and true for me. But I, and also I had to get a fabric banner because the particular requirements for the Head West market, you can't have a, you can't have a vinyl banner. Uh, I think, you know, they're trying to be as sustainable as they can be, and I'm on board with that. I just hope that uh, the quality of the fabric banner, you know, is good, because I was seeing some reviews, and overall, vinyl just stays together better for a lot of people. But what are you going to do? So, we'll test it out. The total that I paid for the banner, it, I'm going to hang it from underneath my table. So... The table is about six feet, maybe a little over. Six feet by two and a half feet, and so the banner that I got is six feet by two. The canopy that I need to get is going to be ten feet by ten feet, and then I need to get ten pound sandbags to hold down each leg, uh, because I guess the wind in Alameda is more intense. But anyway, the amount that I paid for this banner is $57.16. Um, it's expected delivery is June 13th, and I'm pretty sure the market is June 19th. So, <laughs> cutting it a little close. Uh, but I, I got a discount on it. So, originally it was going to be $66, but 
but I got 20% off and then I also got free shipping with a coupon code. So always check for coupon codes. And I got, I a activated my Rakuten, so I also got 3% cash back. So not too bad uh, on that. Looks like this. I just put our logo, Cheeky, and then uh, self-care from minority-owned small businesses because I figured, you know, I don't know what other signage I'm going to have up and I want to clearly communicate what it is at my booth that I'm offering and so I figured I would put that on the sign. Okay, and these are the tote bags. It looks, it's kind of hard to see because it's super small, but I wanted it to be very like minimalistic anyway. It's just a canvas tote bag. And then in red letters, it says we rise by lifting others. And then right there, it says shopcheeky.com. So, it, I mean, it looks pretty plain and that's because it is, but I think that by being so plain and the letters being, you know, it just being one sentence, it's a statement. It is a statement. So the tote bags were kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie to you, but I figured, you know, when people are at the market, they might be looking for a bag already to hold their stuff. And then on top of that, it communicates our purpose. And then on top of that, if they buy a box and they don't already have a bag, they're probably going to want a bag. Our you know, the product that I'm gonna be selling is harder to carry than maybe some of the other things that they've picked up. And so I made those. And that's pretty much it. That's all the market prep I've done so far. Not a lot, honestly, but hopefully it pays off with the markets because like I said, it's kind of an investment to start, but I've heard really good things about return. So anyway. I'm going to get back to practicing for my interview. Oh my god, I'm here. I'm so nervous. Wish me luck. Oh my god. I'll tell you how it goes. Ah. Hey, you got your oh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're about to try pineapple pie. Yes. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> What's up with it? Okay, so you just saw a tiny clip of me with one of my friends in the program. Her name is Soto, she's so cool. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much after my interview, I didn't do an update. Uh, I just went home and directly got ready for this kind of kickback at one of the people in the program's house. But the interview didn't even end up happening Pretty much what happened was the woman I was supposed to interview with didn't realize that today was Memorial Day when she scheduled the interview with me and so she didn't show up but what was cool is that I met the man that I'm gonna be essentially like working directly with he's the guy that kind of owns or runs the place and so I was able to you know meet him say hi and stuff like that uh without the pressure of an interview but i was expecting the interview and i didn't so it was kind of like uh. but she emailed me and she was super apologetic and now we're just trying to figure out another time for me to go in later in the week but i have a good feeling because the the guy that i met the person that i would be working for is super chill and the place is pretty cool looking and uh, not too far and a cool area. So excited about that. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much, oh, I left my bowl with the watermelon. Oh. I'll get it later. I was going to tell you like we need to bring the ball back because we use it a lot. Yeah, so when I got home, we got ready right away. I'll show my fit later. But we got ready right away for this barbecue that someone in my program was hosting. Uh, and so it was pretty cool. Like a good portion of my cohort showed up, which was really fun. And you know, we're just drinking, grilling. There was a lot of people. It was pretty packed. Uh, I know, we won a game of beer pong. 
Uh, and yeah, it was just a good time. Um, but before we left, I chopped up this big ass watermelon. It was literally probably the biggest watermelon I've. It was like, juicy. I picked it out. It was so good. Diego picked out a fire ass watermelon. Um, you gotta smack it. Yeah, but we took some watermelon over there. You know, it was like potluck style. And I forgot the bowl, but whatever. And yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. And now we're headed home. It's Monday, tomorrow's Tuesday, so classes, gym, you know, the whole ordeal. But pretty much the most stressful part of my day was the interview, and the interview didn't really happen, so <laughs> it's been pretty chill. We're gonna do some training tomorrow. Yes. We made it to the park with Gape and Marie and PJs and Chunklas. <laughs> That was not an impressive jump off the swing at all. <laughs> so I took off my makeup, so. Looking significantly dustier than I did earlier. But it's all good. He seriously thinks we have it. <gasps> okay, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I'm getting ready for the gym. But I just got a package and I think it's the tote bags. I'm so hyped. Uh, you saw yesterday that uh, I said that they weren't supposed to come until like June 14th or something crazy. But I think this is them because I haven't ordered anything recently that would be this big. So let's take a look. It's the last week of regular school for me. And I'm just like trying to process it. <laughs> just been doing homework. I had a group meeting this morning. Weird. A lot of final presentations and things like that. Oh, it is the tote bags. Okay, I can already see the red font came out more orangey than expected. Actually, it's more like pinky. It's like a coral. I'm not mad at it though. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, it looks like this. They're like this big. This is a pretty good size. They're kind of thin. The same thickness as normal totes. Yeah, so the, the print is just a little bit more orangey. It's almost pinky, so I feel like it's still on brand. Looks like this. Can you see that? We rise by lifting others and then shopjiggy.com right there. Oh my god. I actually love it. Let's see. This was like a little lower, so it was centered. Mm, it's kind of centered. But it's fine, right? Yeah, it's a little higher. Yeah. That's Cute! Good. Well, there's a hundred of them, so. <laughs> but that's them. They're kind of wrinkly. I might try to lay them out later and, you know, put something heavy on them so that they the wrinkles get pressed out, kind of. Mm -hmm. 